Windows 11 is finally here and what does it mean for us as gamers? How is gaming improved on Microsoft's latest operating system? I've got a lot of devices here, so let's go ahead and find out. All right, welcome back guys, Thunder E here and thank you for joining me on this video talking about Windows 11. Now, if you're joining me for the very first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification icon to get notified with more videos like this. I've been using Windows 11 through the preview beta for a while and it's finally here. Go ahead, download it, it's stable, it runs well. But you're asking the question, what are the benefits I'm gonna get as a gamer? I'm gonna start off with one of the best benefits there is direct storage. Now, direct storage is something we've seen from the Xbox that is gonna be applied to Windows machine. Uh, as long as you have a fast capable NVMe, basically, you know, fast storage drive within your machine, just like what I have here with the Razer Blade 14, then you can take advantage of direct storage, which means it allows faster load times, uh, allowing for your machine to, to basically dump quickly to the graphics card. All that jargon doesn't mean anything other than while you're playing games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it loads faster and you can go ahead and enjoy those games and assets continue to load as fast as possible, especially games that have large sceneries to render or very luscious environments like you can see here on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. By the way, this Razer Blade 14 is an awesome laptop. It is running the, uh, the AMD Ryzen 5900H and an RTX 3080. You can get in a couple, I think a couple of configurations, but combined with that NVMe here, you're getting that kind of smooth gameplay experience that you're seeing because Windows 11 is taking advantage of the hardware finally. And that's something as PC gamers, we have been waiting for and absolutely love it. So definitely a kicker here. And honestly, this is a great laptop to check out too, overall. I use it for my trip to London. I did some editing on here, solid. Now, the other thing of course, is just the smooth transition of what Windows has uh, actually done. So moving from Windows 10 to Windows 11, that's great. I mean, like it's, doesn't, you don't have a lot of hiccups or any issues there. And while I'm gaming on the device like the MSI uh, GE76, which has a lot of power performance, by the way, I mean, games just run really well. And I think also the, uh, the UI feels a little bit smoother for this gaming needs. Now, the one thing you will note, and I actually noted with this device is that if you're running an RTX machine uh, with, an, uh, with an NVIDIA GPU, you do have to download the latest drivers that are optimized for Windows 11, and you see some of that smooth gameplay and performance you see here. So I did that on all my devices, including my desktop, uh, where I was able to take advantage of one of the key features that Microsoft is adding, which is auto HDR. So HDR is, has been on Windows for a while. It's been a little bit wonky. Now, auto HDR has set things pro basically proper, is what I would say, which means that if you've got an HDR capable monitor like I have here with my LG monitor, you can go ahead and take advantage of your system and run games uh, at HDR. It'll auto detect the games for you once you set auto HDR and then boom, you're good to go. These games look vibrant, they look luscious. You can see it quite well, it's sharp. I mean, all the things you expect from HDR on a game, uh, especially with an RTX GPU, uh, it really takes full advantage of it altogether. Now, when you wanna summarize what Windows 11 gaming is right now, Simply put, Microsoft is trying to make it easier, better, and faster for you to enjoy your games. So things that I mentioned like auto HDR and direct storage allow you to use your hardware that you spent a lot of money for, whether it's a PC rig or a gaming laptop like the Razer Blade 14 on MSI G76 to its full advantage. And that is the most important thing, which means all you need to do is sit back either with your laptops or your desktop and game as much as you want. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about gaming on Windows 11 or any of the Windows 11 features and you're interested to find out more, leave your thoughts down below and ask me your questions. I'll try and answer them as much as I can. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.